This is Loris Rudin for MH Tutorial and in this Photoshop tutorial I will show you how to apply a lightning effect. We are going to use filters and um, the version of Photoshop you are using doesn't really matter because this has been around since the Stone Age. We will add a new layer and we will apply a filter here render clouds and we will use another filter here render different clouds then we will invert this image command I then we will add an adjustment layer levels and then we'll push the levels here And you will see what I'm going for, I guess. This is good, I think. And now we will close down this. And we will merge down the layers here. Merge down. Okay. So now it is only to pick pieces here. And put together. Let's see here, we will, this is kind of interesting, we copy it and paste to another layer and we put ourselves on the right layer here again <laughs> and this is interesting, copy, paste, what do we have here? We have a long one if that's interesting. We'll see here. Oh, more like this. The right layer, of course. Copy. Paste. And we may have uh, another one here. This could be pretty interesting. Right layer, of course. <laughs> copy, paste, okay this will do. Now we will have to position our bits and pieces over the image. First we will take this image and uh, take away the visibility. And what do we have here? We have this long flash, this layer, we could I think we should push it, position it here on that chimney somewhere. Okay. So, and uh, what this one here is, what is that? Not that one. Could be that one. This could hit something like this. Very interesting. <laughs> and, um, here we have this one, could be hitting that one, and we have um, this one could hitting this, something like that. Okay, so we take away the visibility of this and concentrate only on this one. So we take away visibility on this. And we will zoom in on this and we will clean up this with a pencil here, right pencil black and we will take away this and that little one. Um, so see. And this we have to Take away and that one. Let's see what we have here. Okay, flow. Let's see. Ah, sharp. And uh, we'll see here. We 
add that one not that one that one and this layer we will screen it blend mode screen so you see what has happened here uh, we can go on with black and, and fix this thing here here we fix it and that one we can take away that little one and here we will uh, see here we can take away a bit here maybe we should have some soft edges like that and maybe we will position it better here it could right down there uh, then we will trim it off here like that okay and now uh, we will see what we have here there there this could be interesting and we will take it to this to screen to screen okay so now we can take away a little here this piece and that piece and maybe you should position it a bit up and maybe you should take away a little bit of this too disturbing okay maybe a little bit there and a little bit there maybe so okay so we have this one and uh, what is that this is this we'll see here we sit this on screen to screen and we'll see what we have here uh, we can add this in we can uh, do so and then we can we can control click on it pre-transform drag it down a bit like that okay position it here we'll see it will go in there somewhere and um, we will just trim off things here we don't need this we don't need that certainly we don't need this one okay control D or command D then we will take away this okay we will take this control free transform then we will rotate it a little a bit and see how it will be okay there we rotate a bit more and we will focus on this here so with that we okay that one and um, we paint away things here this we paint away totally and we'll see here this one here that's pretty good
we see around here this will make this to a screen too screen and uh, we paint away this we don't need it we don't want this and we take away this and um, we will free transform this a bit control free transform and drag it down a bit so it hits there okay that's it so this is what we got so far let's see what we have uh, we will take away visibility of the background image and we will zoom in a bit and um, we will flatten the image a bit here we say Im layers flat merge visibility Okay, now we will clean up a bit. We'll take an eraser here. A little bit bigger. And we, the soft edges we will take away. this so it's only hard edges okay so now we will fill this with black okay so we have some pieces we have to fix here like that what do we have hard edges best So like this, and we'll see what we have here, and we have to take that to um, screen, screen mode. So there it is. Now, we've, now we've, we will do this lightning more electric. So we will make a new layer. that and we will fill it with a color blue seems okay and we will take away visibility of the background layer and for the blue layer we will turn the blend mode to overlay and we will put on visibility here to see if it's more electric okay so we will Flatten this too, much down. So, this is it. Okay, now we will do the impact on the chimney a little bit more interesting. For that, we will add a new layer. And we hit the brush, white. Um, 100 seems okay uh, with uh, 
opacity for like 20 something okay and then we'll go over this and hit one there one there one there and one there then we go for um, like a 50 with opacity like 40 one there one there one there and one here and maybe we go with for 15 I'm sorry with an opacity of 60 ah, 15 was a little bit low Twenty nine is okay. Okay, so now it's a little bit bright. The flashes are maybe a little bit too bright or too colorful. So we add here a adjustment layer oh there it is and we make it uh, clip to the layer below and um, what do we got here we can change the the color of it the whole scale actually but something blue is good Maybe it should be uh, less saturated, like uh, this maybe. Okay, that's good. This is the image we got now. Um, by using render clouds and render different clouds and cut out bits and pieces and assemble them, we got this... Um, organic forms that look like something like lightning um, and then we color it so it looks like a bit more electric and the, the impact points on the the uh, shimmerness we have added some light we could add more but this is okay for now thank you very much